Atlanta Coaster, and we are going to be building only two new rides uh, on tonight's video. Uh, we got a request for a, uh, some kind of water ride, and we're going to go ahead and build a hyper coaster too at the same time. And I think we're going to put one stand in or two stands, but I think we're going to go with our uh, water ride and. Uh, and a hyper coaster, so we're looking for some openings that we're going to plan to use or kind of do a filling uh, spot. So we're going to be looking at this area right here for the uh, log ride we're going to put in. And I'm going to use a prefab uh, log ride that I uh, designed uh, for another park here. So uh, Let's see what we have here, and I got my prefab roller, uh, not roller coaster, but log ride right here. Uh, we're just gonna position that someplace. Gonna run it right, right. I really want to run it uh, with a stand right here. If, let me go down here a ways. Think about doing it. Actually, let's go something like right in here. I think I'm gonna build my hyper coaster behind this if I can. But I'm really looking for a better spot. I'm thinking about right uh, there. So yeah, looks pretty good. I can still put a flat ride uh, in this one spot uh, right there where you see the arrow at. Yeah, let's go put it right there. So you got the uh, walkway there, I can still put a, uh, if I need to, I can still put a small flat ride here, and I can put a hyper coaster station right in here if we need to, and possibly some stands in here so the queue line for the hyper coaster will go back there. So we're going to put log ride hyper coaster back here, and how I'm going to route the hyper coaster, uh, we haven't decided that until we get to that part. Right now, let's go ahead, uh, let's do the, uh, the queue line in station, and how I'm going to run the queue line is basically is, uh, we're going to have to move this tree, uh, basically, so let's go ahead and move this tree. Well, I've got this game right here, is look at this, I can move this, uh, building just a slight bit like there, uh, about like that. And now I can move this bench right here and move the trash can over here because right here is going to be the entrance of the ride and over here is going to be somewhere near the exit right in here uh, basically. So let's go ahead and test uh, the ride out. We're going to add, uh, I know there's in the other one I got to add at least one more log or let's go ahead and add two logs in there. So right now, let's go ahead and get uh, the station done where I want it and how I want to do it, okay? Okay, you see it's pretty well a standard building we always built on this park right here. So we're almost there. We might just go ahead and open the ride while we're still building uh, because that's why I like how this game is played. So we're going to go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and open up the ride while we're still building. This we call this river logs, so that's what, what it is, river logs. And we're gonna add some extra features right in this area, right where I'm pointing around the arrow at. We're gonna add some something different and unique there for a log ride. You're gonna see what I mean here in a little bit. Right now, let's just finish up building this station right here uh, so we can get this done. Okay, uh, what we're doing is we're going to just add a, an extra roof on this uh, building. So it looks uh, a little bit more fancier. That's what we're trying to do. What I'm trying to do is get that one brick to stay put, but it won't stay put for some reason. There we go. We don't need that body. Hi. So we're just going to go ahead with this and let's get one final piece of the roof right there which we got right there and some reason that don't want to click see what I mean don't want to click don't want to click yeah we 
got it. And boom. So we'll just make it more of an A-frame type roof situation. Let's get it, uh, reset our filters. And let's find a, uh, a roof part here. Don't know we're gonna go metal. I just like uh, the standard type roof right here. I think this is what we're looking for wood tile roof. That's not the game we really want it to be. I think we want something like that. Yeah. And let's flip that around and we'll get the back side here. Yeah. Now let's go ahead with the, uh, the top part. Why does that want to go like that? See, it just did it again. See, it, for some reason that part don't want to click. See, don't want to click. We got to double click. going on here but we'll figure it out here real quick here it just don't want to click tonight here we go I mean it works anywhere else but that front part and now I'm just trying to get that last piece go in right there and good yeah we're all good there whatever we want effect here so we gotta go to scenery to get that special effect we're gonna make that thing smoke yeah I'm just put it right in the position right there so it won't click now we will just uh, sink it in somewhat watch it disappear yep, see how it disappeared and now we got a smoker. You can see the top right there, but that's okay because it's, I just want to see if it's not visible all the way around once we're done. So let's go ahead. And it looks like we are good. The only way to see it is through the top. So we got a smoking uh, roof there. <laughs> I like that. Okay, we got the. Um, Station done with the uh, not going to do anything outside. Uh, we're going to add some special scenery right here. We're going to add some uh, pile rocks right there. We're going to make a little rock tunnel here. So you're going to see what I mean by right here. So we're just going to get some rocks going. I got to make sure I'm not uh, goofing up on this. Let's get this uh, rock going here. Gotta create a pile of rocks along the way here. Gotta make sure I got the right size and hopefully it all works in. Okay, my little rock pile tunnel is almost done as a scenery. I might try and keep it in the picture here. Okay. There we go. Just kind of do some 
last minute touches here. And let's bring that up. Spin that kind of going this way and bring it right there. And I think we'll put one more rock uh, right in here and put it down pretty low about right there. Now the only question is, is it clear enough? It doesn't look very clear at all. It looks like it's, uh, because it's clear, because it's it's put in. So, uh, right now we're going to go ahead and put some uh, other uh, rocks in the area. So let's put some more rocks over here as you're going into the uh, station here. I think we're good right here. I just gotta drop this boulder down to the ground more. I think we're good. We don't need to put our, our roof type deal there. Right now, let's just load it up with some trees here. Let's take a quick ride on, uh, on the river logs here. So let me go ahead and put some trees and add in here real quick. plant some trees, believe it or not, on these rocks right here. So it just gives us some nice added scenery. I'm not going to slam these together. So let me tell right there, I'm putting some bushes with flowers. But we're not going to cram them together. We're just going to space them out there. All the way up to station. You can't really tell right there. Let's put it around here. And good. And a few more trees there, there, and there. And one of the big oaks. Oak trees there. That's what it is, I think. Is that what it is? Yeah, oak tree. So I had a couple big oaks. And I think that's gonna be it. I wanna add another type of tree here where I want these couple of these sycamores uh, trees around here because we're gonna be starting to build a hypercoaster here shortly. Okay, we're building this uh, hyper coaster. We're using uh, what they call Geo Vanilla uh, type trains. It's going to be, uh, I think it's going to end up being four, uh, four six people tra trains. We're going to use probably three trains uh, on this. So let's get this roller coaster uh, built. And we're supposed to promise you the log ride too here, real quick. So, uh, Let's see if we can get this roller coaster built up here real quick here for this uh, hyper coaster here.
Okay, we got our hyper coaster done. We're making sure it is a hyper coaster, so we'll just check on the ratings and results. And if any drop, if I get a drop that's more than 200 feet, below 300 feet is considered a hyper coaster. And our drop is 218 foot drop. It looks a lot bigger on the video game. That makes the roller coaster approximately what my first drop is about approximately 225 feet high. That qualifies it as a uh, hyper coaster. Uh, yeah, hyper coaster that we're gonna have here. So I'm gonna tell you what is this. Uh, let's go ahead and take a test ride on the Winger Dinger. Uh, not the Winger Dinger, uh, this hyper coaster. We'll name it on the next video. I want you guys to name this coaster. Let's go ahead and ride this roller coaster right here. You guys are gonna name this ride right here. This is the hyper coaster that we just uh, installed in the park. We're gonna let you guys name it. So name it what you want, uh, basically. Uh, nothing obscene or offensive. Just give it a good, honest name. We're going to give it a pink color, so I guess suggest some basic pink colors if you want. I got one I got in mind anyway uh, for a base pink. We're going right over the wing of Digger. Yep, here's a big, high, big overturn come around point. And we're going under the wing of Digger there and under its structure. There's our brake run right there, and this is kind of like a, uh, I'll probably straighten this out later. No big hill time right here, and we got the uh, big massive double helix right here. So you guys go ahead, you guys got a good name for it, leave down in the comments down below. Before we leave, we'll take a ride on the river logs, our log ride that we just put in uh, today. And I'll put the building up uh, later and we also got a request to put lights on the uh, the lift hills and that is a time consuming uh, uh, ordeal right there so there it is your hyper coaster we'll build the queue line station on a later date I'll have it done uh, the time we'll go on the next video uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's ride the uh, river log ride here that we put in uh, basically, so uh, here we go. Yep. Now we are riding the river logs. You can see the trees that we put in for the scenery. We gotta put more trees later in this ride right here. Probably more scenery if we need to do that. Nice relaxing ride. And okay, we're gonna go up the lift hill right here. And that. You're going to see some similarities to other log rides right there. There's a balloon, hot air balloon, you see the picture right there. That's the scenery that we had on a previous video. Yeah, remember, we put a log pile tunnel, uh, basically. Uh, not log pile, but rock pile we put in. Yeah, there, Chuck. So we put a rock pile, created like a, a tunnel, uh, basically. That's what we did. the scenery that we put in and we will put more scenery around this ride eventually on a later video and I think we're gonna add uh, we're just gonna on the next video 
we're going to do a night view and all this stuff uh, to divide and we're probably going to add some other stuff to it. So we're going to pick up right where we left off last, uh, next time. So there it is. That is the river logs. So on the next video, I'm going to have the queue line station done with the queue line done. We're going to add some scenery over here in the next video. Uh, we're going to add queue line lights, how I show you how to do that. It's, it's kind of a time consuming, but we're going to show you the basics uh, basically when we do the next video. And uh, that's it right there, uh, what we just did. So I just, I kind of had to put this in a last minute type of stuff because I really, really get, get thought this out a little bit. But hey, uh, we're getting there. Uh, right now, uh, that's going to be it for this video because I got to get other stuff uh, going. I want to make sure this is up and running uh, off camera to make sure it's queued in right. But there's our hyper coaster for you guys to name right there. You guys get to name that. Our river logs are in and we had a little scenery and that stuff. So uh, I think that's what we're going to do for today's video. The queue line. Uh, and I'm going to show you how I did some of the uh, lights for the lift hill and we're going to see it in nighttime view on the next video. And this park is almost done. I would say maybe two more roller coasters and three more flat rides with some more scenery and some more concession stands and this park will be done. And so is this video as of right now. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time when we play Planet Coaster at Lakeside Park.